guys, we've got a CJ from Cross Capital. So, I want to show you how I passed my prop firm evaluation, the $50,000 account size. And that was in Apex I've used. Um, so, but there is a number of funded prop firms out there, funded companies, so anyone can work. Um, this trading style so first of all just a disclaimer this is a very risky strategy or trading methodology so just be careful by doing it um, I'm just showing you guys how I traded this specific way and how I have taken three withdrawals so it's basically three months I think it took me just over a month to pass the evaluation and then after that I've withdrawn three months of profit and that was the maximum amount I could have uh, withdraw on the Apex 50k account size so first of all um, I've traded the Nasdaq so I'm going to show you some examples um, what I did in terms of trading to getting to the target and not hitting my daily loss or even the maximum loss on the account size. All right. So first of all, this is, for example, on the 50k account. Um, this is the typical 50k account size. So this is the typical target and daily loss. You need to trade within those parameters so you need to hit your target of three thousand dollars and a daily loss you don't hit don't reach that otherwise you're gonna with stop top step they're gonna stop you immediately um, but with other companies like take profit trader they're gonna fail you and you need to start all over again with your evaluation so I've put down here for example you just need to make a hundred dollars per day for 30 trading days and then you hit your target that's it so this, that's basically what I've done is to trade small um, hitting those small trades um, with a couple of a couple of day and um, yeah and just pa hopefully pass it so with this said so I'm going to show you something what I did extremely risky like I said so just waiting for a dip in the market and I also I only went long on this strategy I never went short so my my, my thoughts were like a, for example the Nasdaq or the index markets the probability that they go the markets going to go up is much higher than the probability the markets going to go lower for example just looking at the last 20 years for example there's a tendency that the market wants to go up so that that's my thoughts and that's my personal opinion that's why I want to be I'd rather be long than be short so there's more obviously more upside to it but yes when the market's coming down it's gonna go fast and there's a quick reaction to that so so for example, let's just look at this so I even tried, I started trading around when I wake up in the, the UK time. So for example, the 3 a.m. on this New York time. So it's basically 3 a.m. When I wake up, I look at the market, for example, this. I just saw this, for example. And then I would look at, zoom out a bit. Just look at the where the market is. So I don't want to go long up here in this this zone basically I would rather go sure I'll go long in this this area the bottom half of the chart that's it so going one micro going long it is basically so let's for example I went long there at this level at 15 15 and my target is in 10 points so for example at 
making 20 bucks on that. I know this is saying two contracts, but it's a different instrument, so it's actually a CFD. I'm just going to show you some examples on that. But if you trade one micro every 10 points, it's going to be $20 in profit when you make on the micro. So that's the MNQ on the some problems and if you try to CFD account it's the in like the NAS 100 or NASDAQ 100 okay that's 10 points 20 bucks so five of these trades and you hit your daily target of more or less a hundred dollars so let's say just wait okay boom there you got your target and you look for the next pullback I'm gonna show you what's the so I'm risking the whole amount. So the whole daily loss, a thousand dollars, I'm risking. But I'm trying to get five winning trades out of this. So if the market moves up like this, I'm waiting, gonna wait for a bit of a pullback. It needs to. Sorry, I won't go long there. Or even if I okay. So for example, if I see this, go buy, go long at 123, for example. Uh, I just want to show you. Okay, so I want to show. Let's do this. Bar there, for example, target is 33, almost that area. Okay, so let's say, for example, you missed it. So if you're going to go into drawdown here, that's $16 drawdown. This is only 80 or even 100 there. So I, would, I won't even put in a stop loss. So just risking the whole lot. Just waiting what the market's gonna do. I must say, I so there we go, that's that's two trades. Wait for a bit of a pullback, you can take that that trade again, go long, the market drops to here. So your drawdown would be almost 40 bucks there. Market's moving higher, hitting your that's three trades, that's sixty dollars for the day so far, and you don't have to get your hundred dollars. I'm just saying you can reach your target within 30 days. I know my average was between, let's say for example, $80 and $200, depending on how, how much trading I did for the day. So I, I need to be awake and waiting for the market to pull back a bit and getting some trades but you what you can do if you want to get a more uh, a better idea of where to actual actually enter you can use a fib tool and wait for a, a nice pullback in the market so looking at this move high so if, for example if you look at this this move higher you wait for a pullback back to 50 percent or 61.8 percent so that's this label here and you can buy the market there or even the 70 just choose one of these and just buy it and get your 10 points out of the market first first thing one big rule is don't trade too big because if you trade too big you're gonna hit your daily loss and you won't reach your targets so when the when the US when the US market opens the equity market opens at 9 30 the market is much more volatile, so you get it can get a few trades out of this. So every time the market, the market move went up, pulled back, buy it, 10 points, went up higher. Sometimes it feels like you missed out on the whole move. So we're only taking 10 points in this whole this whole move, you're only taking 10 points. And some days the market's gonna trend up with a high trend like this. It's gonna move up like this, and you you're not gonna get any trades. But it's fine. There will be days when the market's going to be much, much more volatile, much more sideways, and you can get your 10 points in and out, in and out of the market. So I'm just saying what I did. So for example, let's say for example you saw you saw this this pullback here somewhere, and you bought there somewhere, and you. I'm just going to show you what's the. The amount of capital that you were out of the money 160 dollars yeah this area this whole move but I would buy some more but don't over leverage so I think the most I went into averaging down so maybe five contracts five micros 
and I want to over leverage again like I said so I would wait for the market to go up again and just sell the whole lot that's for example everything I would sell at a, at a profit and that's it I'm just showing you like I said it's a very high risk trading style but uh, it worked so uh, I want to show you where I took a withdrawal from there's a two thousand dollars withdrawal from Apex um, back then we were using deal as the the company that made the um, withdrawals so that was a two thousand dollars so the, the account basically the cost for getting this type of account is a hundred on take profit trader it's a hundred and two dollars to get the account I'll show you here um, this one here I'll show you the 50k account is a hundred and two dollars per month if it takes you two months it's gonna cost you two hundred dollars but in one month I took a profit or two thousand so I made six thousand dollars profit overall cost me basically two hundred dollars to get the to, to pass the so it would be another hundred and two dollars to, to get the evaluation done and then they on apex there was a a, a monthly data fee or admin fee of, I think it was around ninety dollars to to maintain your evaluation your PA account um, times three months. So I just want to do all the calculations here. So let's say it's so it's ninety times three. That's two seventy plus one two. That's four seventy four dollars you can see the total cost would be then five hundred dollars but that's over more than four months five months that was the cost so five hundred dollars and I made six thousand profit so overall it was a net profit of five five So yeah, I'm just showing you guys it can be done in terms of using a very risky strategy. Another account size that a company that might work better is the Funded Trading Plus. If you use the, for example, one of their programs, the Experienced uh, Trader Program. So if you get this twenty-five thousand dollar account, it is the starting price is two hundred dollars, but you can if you use the code. CC10, um, you can get so CC10, you get a 10% discount at FT Plus, Funded Trading Plus, that's a 10% discount. Then you can hold your trades over the weekends or even overnight. So, like companies like Take Profit Trader or Top Step or Apex, those type of companies, but problems they you need to close all your positions at the end of the trading day but with Funded Trading Plus you can hold over the weekend so it says yes you can do, do that this is the same you need to make 10% profit that is the target so that's two and a half thousand dollars and you the daily simulated loss is a thousand so this is almost better so you need that's the the overall loss is then the maximum loss is 1500 and then the daily loss is 1000 so as a matter um either company i'm just thinking about doing this specific strategy it is allowed you can even build an ea using the similar principles just buying the dips in the market and then scaling down a bit with the strategy and it will take you between a month and two months to pass your evaluation and you can start making profit right so there's still a bit of this a this promo is still running the 40% discount at take profit trader you can, uh, 
there is a CC40, that's the discount code. Um, there's no, um, I would say, on the PA account, getting your PA account, your, your, your simulated live account, so getting to that. The, there's a, usually there is a one-time fee of $130, but using this currently this promo, and I know it's ending today, the 7th of November, there is this fee falls away. So you only have to pay for your evaluation monthly, and that's it doesn't matter when you pass your evaluation. If it takes three months, then you just pay this, this amount every single month. So this promo. 40% discount and then on this one, the Final Trading Plus, there's a 10% discount running on at that. I'm going to show you guys quickly. There is a this one, Final Trading Plus, the November promotion applicable on all evaluation types. 10% discount, use code CC10, get a 120% refund. When, when you pass, so that's even better, and there is no monthly fees, so you're all in with this one. You get your net, your profit increases as you make more profit. Right, guys, um, that is basically it. So I haven't used any indicators. I have only traded. I only traded the Nasdaq because of the volatility. I haven't, I haven't traded the, uh, the ES or the S&P, only the NASDAQ on this specific strategy. And um, I've passed my evaluation on this. All right, guys. Hope it helps. If you have any questions, put in the comments below. Give a like to this video. I would appreciate it. And if you have any questions in terms of more detailed questions, you can check out my the score channel I'll show you guys yeah join the discord channel Here is the discord and you have some resources available different indicators and the latest videos would be up here some promos like I said the promo the November promotion CC 10 is running some downloads some guys chatting in the discord right guys see you in the next one just